Now for Erickson's model, also called Erickson's Eight Stages of Psychosocial Development. As you know, we have a big, huge chart that shows the developmental process. So before you get overwhelmed, just focus on the bolded ones here, as these are the most tested. So here we go, starting at the top. Zero to 18 months, this is considered the infant stage. And the attributes is trust versus mistrust. So trust was actually mentioned by Hesse, which will break down the specific questions after we cover the whole chart. Now the virtue is hope and optimism. And the need and focus is safety with the mother, or basically the caregiver. Now the good outcome here is trust and faith. Be sure to write that down. So trust and faith in the environment and with the caregivers. And the bad outcome that we don't want to have is fear and suspicion with people and environment. Now the next stage here is 18 months to three years old. This is our toddlers and early childhood. And the attributes that I would write down is autonomy versus shame and doubt, as mentioned by ATI. Now the virtue is the will and use of freedom as well as self-restraint. And the need and focus here is independence from the parents. So the good outcome is independence and control over behavior and skills. This is what they mean by autonomy. Now the bad outcome is failure to achieve autonomy. This leads to shame and doubt. And the next stage is three to six year olds. These are our preschoolers. So the attributes is initiative versus guilt. And the virtue is purpose, or the ability to start activities and goals. Now the need and focus is powerful within the family and exploring. Basically, they're getting more and more independence and want to explore more. So the good outcome is initiative and being assertive, basically having a sense of purpose. Now the bad outcome is asserting too much power and getting disapproval and guilt. Now the next age group is 6 to 12 years old. This is our school age children. So the attributes is industry versus inferiority. And the virtue is competence in intellectual settings, as well as social and physical skills. So the need and focus. This age group is good with neighbors, classmates, and friends. And the good outcome is feeling competent with social and academic demands. Now the bad outcome, as mentioned by Hesse, is failure in social and academia, leading to a feeling of inferiority, or basically being inferior. The next age group is 12 to 18 years of age. This is our adolescence. The attributes are identity versus role confusion. So the virtue is fidelity, or basically fitting into the world as their own person, kind of like finding themselves as a teenager. So the need and focus, a big one here, is socialization and fitting into peer groups. This is huge. Now the good outcome is a sense of self and personal identity, as mentioned by Kaplan. Basically staying true to yourself. And the bad outcome is confused with self-identity. They end up lonely and isolated without any friends. The next age group is 19 to 40 years old. This is early adulthood. The attributes are intimacy versus isolation, with virtues of love and finding and losing self in others, as well as a big one here, finding and losing yourself within your career. And the need and focus here is love with partners as well as friends. So the good outcome is strong relationships, intimate and loving. And the bad outcome is weak relationships. So once again, lonely and isolated. The next age group is 40 to 65. This is considered full adulthood. And the attributes is generativity versus stagnation. And a little side note, generativity means that you're more concerned about other people, be it kids or the next generation. So virtue is care, guidance, and teaching the new generation. Now this is marked by providing value to a household as well as society. Often it's called giving a gift, whether it's to the children or to the next generation. Now, the good outcome here is feeling accomplished and usefulness within a family or society. And the bad outcome is a shallow sense of self with limited involvement in the world. 
And very lastly is 65 plus. This is considered maturity, with attributes being integrity versus despair. And the virtue is wisdom with fulfillment and satisfaction. So the need and focus here is reflection on life. They basically feel like they received a gift. And the good outcome here is wisdom and fulfillment while reflecting on life. Now, the bad outcome is regret, bitterness, and despair with life. Okay, as you can see, this is a big, huge chart. So let's drill down and see exactly how test questions are presented. So Kaplan mentions adolescence associated with establishment of which developmental goal? A sense of identity. Yes, as you can see, our teenagers, or basically adolescents, are trying to find themselves. The personal identity is the main developmental goal. So ATI mentions, which age group experiences the stage of autonomy versus shame and doubt? The toddlers. And a second question, successful achievement of Erickson's for a three-year-old toddler. Encourage the child to assist in removing the dressing on his leg. Yes, a good outcome is initiative with preschoolers. So encouraging the child to remove the dressing shows initiative. Now, Hesse mentions, which task belongs to infancy? Trust. And question two, a four-year-old, which stage of Erickson's theory is the nurse addressing when teaching inhalation therapy? This is initiative. So as you can see, the older and older children get, they want to gain more independence. And a third question, most significant impact on socialization of school-aged children? Classmates, yes, independence and socialization as the child grows up. And Saunders mentions two questions. An eight-year-old seems to be more attentive to friends than anything else. Using Erickson's, which response? At this age, the child is developing his own personality. And a second question, a two and a half year old child using Ericsson's, which should the nurse plan care around? Autonomy versus shame and doubt. So to wrap this up, as you can see, the majority of the test questions come between infancy and adolescence. So I'd be sure to focus on these age groups for your next exam. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.